All right, our next guest just led a congressional delegation to the southern border to witness the crisis created by the Biden administration's disastrous policy firsthand. Joining us now, Texas Congressman, a member of the House Homeland Security Committee, Tony Gonzalez. Congressman, uh, good to see you. Tell us what you found uh, during your trip to your border, what sort of the big takeaway is from earlier today. Yeah, thank you, Sean, for having me, Sean and Lindsay, for having me. Uh, I spent 20 years in the military, five years in Iraq and Afghanistan. I know what war looks like. You know what it feels like. We're at war. And, uh, you know, the sheriffs are at the, uh, the, uh, the front lines of this all. The takeaway for me was two things. One is we have to help law, law enforcement. They're, they're overmanned. Un, uh, I mean, they're undermanned, overpowered. They need help now. The other takeaway is we visited an unaccompanied child facility in Uvalde. No one talks about this. There's literally tens of thousands of children that are being uh, let go into the country. Nobody's nobody's looking out for them. There was a five-year-old little girl there. It's heartbreaking. And uh, one of the stories was the Border Patrol agent told me that they found a small baby in the field that was covered with fire ants. And thankfully, they found it. They found the baby in time to save it. It's absolutely hell on the border, and this has to stop. That's unbelievable to hear, especially as you hear these stories of the children um, that are unaccompanied, especially at that age. I will say, over the weekend, you were actually censured by the executive committee of your state party for several issues. One of them was for not supporting a Republican border security bill earlier this year that came to the floor. So. How would you defend that? If the border is, is this bad, what is the solution from your standpoint? Yeah, first off, that bill never came to the floor. And what if I told you, Lindsay, most things in politics are bull And so I'm not interested in the BS. I'm interested in actual solutions. This is my district. I don't want to blame Democrats. Who, who cares how we got here? Yes, Democrats are terrible. Yes, they want to blame Trump for everything was, that was, that's wrong. I get all that. I am looking for real, tangible solutions that help the people in my district today, not three years from now. So a lot of things in politics, including those on the Republican side, like this Border Safety and Security Act, are total BS that have 0% chance of passing into law and helping helping people along the border. What am I looking for? I'm looking, you wanna get to the root cause of the issue? You label cartels as terrorist organizations. I dropped this bill three years ago. I've been working to do that. Well, you wanna do something else? Right now, cartels are using drones to fly them across the border, dropping fentanyl and doing other things arm border patrol agents and let them shoot these drones out of the air. There's a lot of things we can do in Congress, and I'm not just going to go along to get along. If I get censored for it, then oh, oh well. So, I, and I get that. I, I think what you just said makes sense in terms of you, it's, it may not just be one or the other, right? But the question is kind of like the way I look at energy policy. Why not all of the above? So why not say, do what you're doing, but also do the others? Meaning, is there something wrong in the Republican bill that got put forward that was bad versus is it one or the other? I'll give you, I'll give you an example. You know, today, we went to this unaccompanied child facility. I looked at a five-year-old little girl that was dumped on the side, on the other side of the river uh, by cartels. Absolutely horrific. If this bill, if the Border Safety and Security Act was law, it would mean if DHS did not have the ability to hold someone for the duration of their claim, which they don't, by the way, and nor will they ever, nor do we want them to. I don't trust Mayorkas to have that power. You would, what, what do you do with this five-year-old little girl? Do you throw her on the other side of the river? What do you do with her? This, that's what this bill would say. You cannot allow any asylum. Look, the asylum process is completely broken. We need to reform it, not do away with it. I believe in legal immigration. I believe most Republicans believe in legal immigration. Illegal immigration is what we should be against. This bill, Border Safety and Security Act, does away with all of it. Why do you punish people that ultimately could, and, uh, could uh, qualify for asylum? So, Congressman, I got, we have literally 30 seconds left, but let me ask you this. You're on the border. You're on the front lines. Do, is there anybody that's actually listening to you and saying, okay, from a Republican side, a Democratic side, Tony Gonzalez, you're seeing it better than anybody. You, like, this is the answer, or is everyone sort of thinking, I've got the answer better than you? 
I've hosted a hundred. I've hosted a hundred uh, over a hundred Republican members of Congress at the border. I, I certainly have respect among my colleagues. I just I just met with a Democrat senator last week. I met with the White House a couple of weeks ago. A lot there's an opportunity for a solution here. Now that solution doesn't include amnesty. That solution doesn't include pathway to citizenship. If you want to start with immigration reform, you start with border security. I'm committed to that. Okay. Congressman Tony Gonzalez, thank you for being here, and thanks for being on the border. Thank you, Sean.